Claros. Hello. She's ready for the day. Bathed and dressed. Hi guys. Okay, today is what's today? Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah, the boys started school yesterday. I started to make the kids dinner early. So I have it in the oven right now. I made their favorite baked penne because um, Gerald and I are gonna have dinner somewhere tonight. Yeah. What are you watching, princess? What would you like to watch? I watch my candle. Okay, so my candle for the week. In the kitchen, we are burning Tiki Beach. It's very summery, spring. It smells really good. In the um, formal living room, I am burning, or I have been burning, sugared Mommy. peony, peony, Mommy. I can never say that. Yeah, Mommy. baby. Yeah, sugared peony petals. This one's so girly. It's so pretty. I love it so much. It smells so good. What, honey? It's just the paint. What paint? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we painted that, huh? Yeah. Why do you have your toys with you, sugar booger? <laughs> Come on, sugar booger. Go back to the living room. Mommy's gonna finish cooking. Yesterday I cleaned the whole downstairs, the bathroom, the living rooms, dusted, just cleaned. And then I was saving upstairs for today. Yeah. Can I have some candy? No, not right now. Hmm. But, I mean, it's still messy because obviously nothing stays clean. It's clean, but messy. Yeah, let's go clean up um, upstairs a little bit. Probably not going to finish today because I do want to work out before I have to pick up the boys from school. And then after school, of course, it's like homework time and getting them ready because we're going to go out. Have fun hitting the piñata? Yes, but the piñata was how I the pinata was Ninja Turtle. Yes. Yes. I like your pink hearts dress. Whoa. Whoa. I finally um, got Clay to be able to stay with my mom because when she's with me, she just wants me to stop what I'm doing and um, do whatever she's doing. <laughs> and that's fine, but today I just want to finish up unpacking because if I don't unpack, I'm going to feel stuck. Oh, you know what? I never even got to share with you guys. Here I go again, getting distracted. But last Thursday, I got my lashes done. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, then you guys probably already seen it. But I asked to go longer. I always get the volume. And this time I asked to go longer. And I don't know if I like it this long. And it just, for some reason, with this length, it also looks thicker. So, I don't know. I kind of like the second time the way I got it the second time this one kind of is too dramatic for every day for me um, but I still love it it's just I'm just not gonna get it done like this again next time maybe I'll put it somewhere after this clip or somewhere on the side or something but when I did go on Thursday I did film a little clip um, they used my before and after picture for the front of their shop so that was so cool that was really cool actually um yeah the owner did ask me because she is my neighbor um but i didn't realize what she was going to use it for i mean i probably would have still said yes anyway because there's nothing wrong with that it's just my eyes nobody knows it's me um but yeah all right guys i'm gonna finish unpacking and then i gotta clean up a little bit okay guys so today is thursday i have an appointment here at bella lash and as i pull up bam Look who I see. Right there. That's me. That's my before and after. The owner of the salon is my neighbor. And she did ask me if she can use my picture for her salon. But I didn't know what she meant. <laughs> I was just like, oh yeah, sure, go ahead. <laughs> That's funny. So in the midst of my cleaning, I thought I would share with you guys my Hello Kitty mask. <laughs> I would normally wear like a, a face mask or something, but I still have this Hello Kitty one. It's made out of cloth. I don't remember where I got it from. Probably from one of those Asian stores here, but okay, I got to get back to cleaning up as you can see. 
it's still a mess. And I only have an hour before I gotta pick up the boys, so I don't know if I can fit in a workout. Babies are home. Your hair's already messed up. Where did I Carson go? Taking off your shoes? Yeah. Thank you. Wash your hands, please. Whoa, I see bullets all over the place again. Look at this little fighter guy. Okay, make sure you guys pick them up, okay? Okay. Um, I picked up a lot already. I know, but... Guys, Gerald and I are ready to go out on our little mini date. But um, I forgot to show you guys the car that we are test driving this week. This is the 2016 Mazda Miata MX-5. This is the Grand Touring version. And the color is really unique. It's in the color ceramic. Oh my gosh. Is he really gonna put the top down because my hair is done, but it's just a beautiful little sports car It's so gorgeous. We're so excited to take it out, and I'm scared because Look he put the top down so it is as you can see a two-seater and it is a convertible the interior is black with little red trimmings as you can see hey guys so here is my date night look um, I got this shirt from Patty's closet I love the print and the colors on it I'm just wearing some black scalloped shorts some black heels and I just curled my hair put it in like a half ponytail um, wearing my House of Harlow earrings, my Movado watch. I have my uh, silver uh, Alex and Ani's on. I'm wearing, I forget the color. Oh, let me see. I, I don't want to take it out. It's my color. I had Gerald put the top back on because, as you guys know, my lovely lashes might go crazy. They might just go everywhere. And of course, I have my hair done. I'm going to be rolling in the wind or what I told them maybe as soon as we get like back in the city off the freeway then maybe we can park somewhere and um, put the top down but for now we're gonna drive with it on okay so the kids are settled they're ready for bed um, but they're just playing right now actually they still have to eat dinner but I made their dinner earlier so they're okay My okay so this car does not have a backup camera but I'm gonna enter the directions right now. So it is dual, it is touchscreen, and it also has the dial over here, but you cannot enter addresses or anything on there, or the touchscreen doesn't work. Actually, this doesn't work either if the car is running. This is our first time in a compact little sports car like this, a two-seater. We're not used to not having any seats in the back. Of course, ideally as a family of five, but three little ones, this wouldn't be um, the kind of car that we would be in the market for unless, you know, we had the extra money to buy a fun car. Um, but yeah, this is just so fun to have right now for date nights. It is pretty compact in here, as I mentioned. Um, see, the back is right here already, the back window. So when the sun is beaming through, you can't even see what this says like earlier I was having a hard time reading what it says and it does have the blind spot indicator so um, the side view mirrors if there's a car in your blind spot or next to you or coming up it should have like an indicator over there and I'll show you guys when that comes about what is the sports drive right here so it shifted higher rpm the suspension that supposedly is different stiffer suspension kind of like a sports car it is a sports car <laughs> Okay, let's see what else we have here. You can control the navigation here as I mentioned. You can also control your music, the volume. There's little compartments here, a really small one here. And then behind us, there's like a little compartment there that you can lock up, an extra cup holder. Oh, it's pretty deep in there. Oh, it doesn't have the glove compartment, that's why. When the top is down, I guess this is your lever to put it back up. And it is manual, so if you want to take the top down, you just pull this down. We'll show you guys that later. Like a garage opener. It is. Yeah. The lights. That one is normal. Oh, everything's so hard. It's supposedly built for weather. Thermostat over here. It is a push to start car, keyless car. Okay, here we go. I was able to put in the address earlier. What about on the steering wheel, babe? Uh, it's got your typical volume up and down. Does this car have Bluetooth? It does have Bluetooth. This does have Bluetooth. You can also control Bluetooth there, your music. <gasps> we just got beat by a Prius. Oh my gosh. 
So this car does average about 30 miles per gallon as far as gas goes. Are you driving on the sport drive right now? Yeah, take it off. Oh, you took it off? See? Oh, I feel the difference. It's louder when you're driving on the sports. Is it because it's giving you like that boost a little bit? Uh, it runs in a higher RPM. It runs in a higher RPM? So what's the horsepower on this car? 155 I think. Okay, so in this car with the lane assist, if you are going to be moving on to the next lane or accidentally moving on to the next lane without signaling, it buzzes. And this car is pretty loud. I feel like I can't hear myself. Is it because it's so compact? Because it's a convertible. Oh, plus let's see if this blind spot indicator works for us so I can show you guys. Wait, why did it get that car? Does it have a late response? It's got a little cup holder here, but I think you can remove that. There's another one in there too if you want to add. One thing I don't like about this car off the bat is the seatings. Both the driver and the passenger are um, manually adjusted. You, they're not powered. I don't like that. We are going to put the top down while we're at a stop. Yeah, cool. Now it feels like it's date night. <laughs> Vanilla ice cream. not even all over the place. Neither is my lashes. <laughs> That's cool. I think it's because we have the windows up too. Okay, my hair is not even going that crazy. Just a little bit. I think next time I'll wear like a scarf over my head. <laughs> Okay guys, we had to turn around because this navigation totally took us to the wrong place. It was telling us uh, like a, I don't know, it was just wrong. Intersection with nothing else. Oh yeah, that's all. So we decided to navigate with Gerald's phone. This is cute, this is Tivoli Village. I'm gonna put the top back on. Pretty easy stuff, huh? Lock it up. Gerald's popping the trunk. Oh, it's <laughs> very small. <laughs> There's gotta be an extra tire in there somewhere, huh? Okay, we're here at Cohen Rig. Okay, this is so crazy. There is a steakhouse near our hometown in the city or little town called Nipomo. And the restaurant is called Jocko's. And then the meat we used to get there, our ribeye, used to be called Spencer's Steak. So this has to be related to Jocko's in Napomo. It says, a Spencer's Steak made famous by Jocko's. Cool, I'm gonna get that. Comes from, right? The yes. Jocko's in Napomo? Yeah, remember in the old days, you know, First Castle? Yeah. All the, the Randolph first would come down and then all the friends of this restaurant. So it's been open for, oh my God. See the Santa Maria Tri Tip. Yeah, yes. We're from Santa Maria. Oh, there you go. Oh, we've <laughs> so the menu. This part of the menu derives from our hometown, Santa Maria, California. As you can see, there's Santa Maria Tri Tip here, and it's also cooked over red oak. That's how the Santa Maria style is. And then, yes, the Spencer steak and the Jocko's is the same Spencer steak and Jocko's we were just talking about. So cool. So here's the ambiance in here. This is the bread and butter. Gerald's like about to attack it because he's hungry. He just got home from work. Here's the portobello mushroom fries with the, uh, what is it babe? Something basil aioli. <laughs> okay, so tonight I am having a glass of Cabernet Sauvignon and this one is, I think this one's from Chile. I was gonna get one from my hometown area, but I didn't see one that was specifically Santa Maria. I did see like Paso Robles and Central Coast, but 
I just wanted a Cabernet. These portobello fries and this basil aioli is aioli. I can never say that word. It's so delicious. From what I remember, it's even better than Bottega Louis um, portobello fries. There's another restaurant here in Vegas where I've had the portobello fries, but this one is really good. There's a Spencer steak. It's basically it's basically a ribeye. They have some homemade chips and I forgot what they call this. What is this? That's the mushroom Rockefeller. Okay. As I told you, I was gonna kind of bring out this another picture you can take. So oh, this yeah. is a another option that we have. These are steaks that are not on the menu. Okay, so we have the brandied mushroom sauce, we have the horseradish sauce, we have the lemon chimichurri sauce. Babe, the chimichurri is kind of like the one you like that um, that last steak house we went to in Mandalay. I just been through it a couple times and it's really, really good. The charring of the meat over the red oak, you can totally tell that they use the red oak to um, barbecue this one. It's so good. This is my favorite sauce. Which one's your favorite sauce? That restaurant was really good. Everything we ordered was really good. So the Spencer steak wasn't exactly like the Spencer steak that we would have in a promo, but I guess it's just the name that they took. That's why they had to put that out there. The service there is really good. It's up to par with the service you would get in like a really fancy restaurant on the strip somewhere or, you know, just a really fancy restaurant. Um, did you know they came and cleaned up our table? Yeah. From all our crumbs? He told me, let's go somewhere that's not too expensive. You know, not one of our fancy places that we go to. And so I looked on Yelp, and this one had like the $2 sign. So I figured, okay, that's not going to be as fancy. But when we got there, the service just made it really nice. Guess where I'm at? At Ruti. Getting my boba fix for the week. Hi. Hi. She got it for you guys. Me, Daddy. Huh? Oh. Malani. Cool, Malani. Yes. That's from Kaya's birthday. Okay, guys, we're home now. Um, the kids are still downstairs. They're just having a little snack before it's time for bed. I'm going to get ready for the night. So I'm going to end this vlog. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.